Hey guys. Um, wow, well, I don't know how to start this video because clearly I cannot say welcome back to my channel. At this point, someone else needs to welcome me back to my channel. It's been a hot minute since I filmed and uploaded a YouTube video. I think it's been around two years. Wow, since I last uploaded a YouTube video, but I have a very good reason for it. I had a baby and you can hear her in the background. It's been a year that I had a baby, but still that's been the main reason why I've been gone dealing with my pregnancy and then with a newborn and I just, I don't know, YouTube was no longer uh, something I was thinking about as much. Um, but anyways, today I just decided to come on here, talk to you guys about where I've been, uh, where I am and where do I see this channel going, like my plans for the future of this channel. Um, but initially I wanted to kind of like do a get ready with me put my makeup on while I talk to you guys about all of these things but then I was like the video would be unnecessarily too long and I don't need those distractions I can just sit here and talk to you guys about all of that and just be done with this video um but yeah uh, just a quick disclaimer it's the first time that I'm filming with a toddler in my room so I don't know how much babbling and playing and screaming will you hear in the background my daughter is a very calm baby but obviously she's playing so you might hear some noises in the background but that's perfectly all right uh, today's video is just going to be a chit chatty one so we'll talk about where I've been what's been up and yeah let's just get right into it so I'll start from the beginning of my YouTube story but I hope I won't take too long um, when I started consistently uploading YouTube videos because I have been uploading YouTube videos here and there for many years now but when I started doing it a little a little more seriously was when I had recently quit my job and after three years of trying and got, having gone through a miscarriage, I was still childless. We were living in China. Uh, I had no family or friends there. So I was clearly bored and had nothing much to do with my day. So after all the cooking and all the cleaning of the house, I would spend the majority of my day watching beauty YouTube videos and spending all my makeup on money. Oh, makeup on money. Wow. All my money on makeup. <laughs> and just that was my day so after a while i was like i should start making youtube videos i don't think there are many pakistani beauty youtubers out there which i was totally wrong about because i later discovered that there were several beauty vloggers that were even if they were not doing it on youtube there are so many pakistani facebook groups where you can find wonderful makeup artists who are sh showcasing their talent and they're just way better than i am i just didn't know of them back then but i started a youtube channel thinking that like I had discovered something no other Pakistani person has ever discovered. Uh, how naive. Anyways, so I started doing YouTube a little more consistently back then. Uh, but then fast forward to October of 2018, I conceived. I found out that I was pregnant. The last couple of videos that you see on my channel, I actually already knew. So while I did fully intend and plan and hoped to continue filming while I was pregnant. Uh, that didn't happen that way. When I was seven weeks pregnant, a kind of physical exhaustion took over my body that I had not known before. I would not get up, I would not cook, I would not clean. I was not doing anything with my day. I just didn't have the energy. I stopped working out. Um, and so trying to film a YouTube video and getting up and just getting ready for a YouTube video was stressing me out. And it was just a hobby. So after having gone through a miscarriage and having so much trouble conceiving a child, I didn't want the extra like pressure or stress in my life. So I just stopped filming. And I was like, okay, once I'm done with this all day sickness, I would go back to filming. But again, that never happened. We came to Pakistan in January of 2019. And because of my history with miscarriage and just having no family in China, we decided that I would deliver in Pakistan. So I stayed here and I had my beautiful, perfect baby girl in June of 2019. Um, and I stayed here with my newborn for the first three months and then went back to China in September. And then we had four amazing months as a family back in China. Me, my husband, my daughter and my mother-in-law, we spent good four months there. But we had to come back to Pakistan again in January of 2020 because my only brother was getting married in February of 2020. Um, when we traveled, it was just fine. COVID wasn't that big of a news back then and we fully intended to go back um, just after his wedding. The day after his Walima, we were scheduled to go back. But then by the time his wedding approached, things had escalated quite a bit back in China and there were no flights coming in and out. 
China was on lockdown and we just couldn't go back. Now fast forward five months, I'm still here. Now things are pretty clear in China, but they have escalated quite a bit as we all know here in Pakistan. So I'm here and uh, in all of this time, in almost 18, 19, 20 months that I'm talking about here, uh, one thing has remained constant and that is I've missed making YouTube videos. It's just kind of like a relief. It's kind of like an outlet for creativity and for doing something productive. I don't know because when I was working that would kind of fulfill my need for creativity and doing something meaningful but filming has kind of been an alternative but anyways um, I've missed making YouTube videos which is why I'm here now that I'm in Pakistan I have ample time at my hands I'm living with my parents and I'm so grateful this is the best situation that we could be in given the circumstances uh, so I'm so grateful. I'm not complaining. But once again, I don't have much else to do with my day other than like take care of my daughter, which is the most meaningful job in the world. But again, you want to do something for yourself every now and then as well. So I wanted to start filming again, but I was like, there are so many things I wasn't doing right because I've reflected a lot on how I used to film. And now I want to change a few things that I used to do, uh, mistakes I used to make. And so I was like, I want to do things differently this time. And I kind of played with the idea over the past few days because I was like, I'm not sure if I'm willing to make the commitment again because what if we decide to go back or we can go back, COVID ends and we can go back in like two months and then once I'm in China, I don't have time to film anymore. And what if it's just another two month kind of thing and I leave my subscribers hanging once again. Um, but then I was like, still do it because this time around my idea for this channel are, is different my plans are different and i feel like for one month two months no matter how long i can do it i can do something more meaningful with my channel now obviously up until this point my channel has been mainly focused on beauty videos and that's not something that's a priority in my life anymore obviously now i cannot spend all of my money on makeup i would rather spend it on my daughter's clothes um, and my life has changed. I have changed over these past two months. Let's talk about the things I would like to change with this channel. Uh, first and foremost, the language, because I do realize that the majority of my audience is Pakistani. And while there is a good portion of my audience that's Western, um, which is exactly why I've still kept my the medium of my videos to be English up until this point. But I do have to realize that the majority is still Pakistani. So I have to incorporate more Urdu into my channel and I have to make videos in Urdu so they could be reached by and accessed by and be understood by a larger like chunk of people. But of course, I'm still going to make videos in English. For example, if I'm reviewing a Western beauty product, I would make that video in English. But anything else that's directed towards my Pakistani audience, I would try to incorporate more Urdu there. I know that I'm making this video in English, but I did feel like I owed it to my English speaking audience to make my first video back in English. Uh, so not only could I explain where I've been, but also give them a heads up on the future of this channel so they could make their own choice on whether or not they wanted to stick around. Secondly, I would also change the content of my videos. I would no longer be making just beauty videos. I would make videos about parenting and motherhood and having a newborn and just all of those things that I feel like are missing in the Pakistani YouTube community. And again, I could still be very wrong. Like I was when I started making beauty videos, I thought I was the only one, but I could be wrong there. But I feel like uh, that kind of content is kind of missing. And I feel like I can add something to it. Now, just a quick disclaimer, and I would leave that disclaimer in every single video that I do. I am no expert. I have one baby and I don't know what I'm doing with her half the time. But I could talk about things like having a summer child. I had my daughter Ishal in the peak of summers in Pakistan and there was so much worry with how do I wrap her? Do I turn on the AC? And how do I deal with her rashes and all of that? And so I've learned a few things over the past 13 months. So I would like to share them with you guys as well. So I feel like I could give useful tips here and there. Also, I like to read a lot about parenting and especially that I feel like is really missing in our culture altogether. There are so many things that I've learned through personal experience and through reading that I feel like not enough people in our culture talk about. And so I'm really excited about doing these those videos. Um, 
more excited than I ever was for doing a beauty video, to be honest. So I would do videos like that. Uh, we are stuck in quarantine and I am placing all my orders online as I'm sure all of you are doing as well. And so I felt like we need to talk about that. We need to talk about our, uh, also, first of all, we need to appreciate how many brands are now doing such a good job at like doing online business. Um, but we also need to talk about their services online. How did it work? How long did it took for the delivery? What was the quality like? I want to talk about my shopping experience with baby products and baby clothes and adult clothes and shoes and grocery and all of those things, basically. I can also talk about weight loss because that's a journey I am on right now. So if it's successful, I can talk about that on my channel as well. But all in all, I just want it to be a well-rounded kind of channel where we could talk about literally anything. Um, and I just want us to be friends, okay? <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's... Uh, where I've been and where I am and where I take want to take this channel uh, and I hope you guys are as excited as I am you guys are willing to take on this journey with me and I hope that no matter how busy my life gets and how crazy it gets I'm still able to film YouTube videos for you because I really enjoy doing that I miss the connection that I built with some of you back then uh, on my snapchat and on my Instagram and every time I go there and I've I'm sent a DM saying you miss me. It just warms my heart and it makes me miss this even more. Um, and so, yeah, I'm really excited to be back here. I hope you guys are excited too. Um, but yeah, that's it for today's video. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.